I am the Dollar Sportsman. Good morning, guys. I am bringing you a quick video on the channel uh, from a friend of mine whose name is Kent Watkins, uh, produced a very good short video on how to clean a Gamo Swarm Magnum or Maxim or what have you. Uh, Bone Collector Fusion, any of the Swarm Generation 2 Gamo Air Rifles. Uh, I'm going to show that to you right now. Watch and learn. Hey everybody, Kent Watkins again. Uh, I had some really good comments and reviews on my video I made the other day on how to properly access the barrel for cleaning on a Gamo Swarm 10X Generation 2, the one with the magazine that lays down. Not the one that, where the magazine, not the Gen 1 where it stands up, but the Generation 2. So I looked at my video and I thought, you know, I need to rearrange some of the comments in there, some of the steps. So here we go, I'm gonna make you a new video, a little more safe operation video. And I need to start out with, you need an empty magazine and nothing in the barrel. Plus you need to make sure you are on safe, first thing. Now in another video I had that a step or two down the way, but Make sure you're safe. Make sure the magazine is empty. Now the magazine needs to be in the gun for this operation and the gun needs to be cocked. So here we go. It's cocked completely. I'm gonna bring it back about right there. Now once you watch the magazine, it's gonna move a little bit. When it starts moving forward, that's, you've gone too far. So about right there, make sure the magazine stands straight up. Take your thumb now. I'm gonna take my other thumb so you can see what's going on. Push that magazine forward, lock it forward. It just, it, it's, it'll snap forward in that position. Now, you can look right down the barrel. See that? There's no obstructions in the way. I didn't take anything apart. Now, when, you, when you're cleaning this, take your, I'm using a Cabela's 17 caliber uh, boar snake cleaning rod, a uh, cleaning, cleaning snake. And I'm going, taking a patch and going from the breech forward to the crown. Now once your, once the end of your cleaning rod with the patch on it reaches, you'll be able to feel it. It'll lighten up, it'll loosen up real quick about right here, and you'll feel it exit the crown. Just stop right there, don't go any further. Now pull the back through the barrel, because you don't want, if you have any hard places on your cleaning rod, you don't want to come back through banging it into the crown. So just go right to the end of the crown and pull it back out, starting from the breech. You can access all the way down through there. Once you're done, you don't need any of uh, the little felt pads or anything. You can use those if you like. You can start them right here. Just load it like a standard single shot uh, breakover gun. You, all you gotta do is push it right into the breach of the barrel there, okay? And then to get this ready to go, just close the barrel. Now, don't fire the gun with nothing in the barrel. At this point, Load you some pellets in your magazine, put it back in there. Break the barrel back over. Now remember, it'll already be cocked, so it'll be real easy. Come all the way down until it stops. That will load one pellet into the breech, and you're ready to fire. Take this off safe, point in a safe direction, and you're ready to go. There you go, my updated, safer version of cleaning the barrel, accessing the barrel on a Gamo Swarm 10X Gen 2. Now one point about the little pellet patches that he mentioned at the end of that video, I'm gonna show you a little clip that I filmed when I was in Cabela's right now and that shows you what those pellet patches are. And go. So I'm in Cabela's and I just saw these. This might be backwards to you guys, I don't know. Cotton pellets, uh, they're cleaners for air rifles, for the Gamo air rifles. So that's cool, 22 caliber. You just load it in and you shoot it and it cleans gunk out. That's super cool. Very awesome. Um, when you do this, make sure you don't use any sort of cleaner that is um, 
oil based because it will diesel, in other words, blow up inside your barrel and you don't want that to happen. So very cool. So a very special thank you to Kent uh, for filming that. I really appreciate it. You guys can go check out his Facebook page for his business. I have put a link below, please check it out. He's got some cool stuff on there. He also sent me some very cool uh, rifle scope zeroing um, helps, you might call it. I will have that in a future video. In the meantime, I hope you keep watching. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers. I have a couple of really cool videos coming up. And then another awesome video where my daughter got to shoot with world champion Lauren Parsons, which is so cool. Uh, we have got the Umarex Ready Air coming out. We have got uh, some more AEA air rifles and some really fun uh, exploding watermelons. I'm working on all of that right now, so I hope you keep watching the channel. In the meantime, I hope this video has helped you so that you know how to clean your Gamo brake barrel rifles. Now, I've been asked a lot of times how to clean them. I never made the video on it, and then I saw Kent and was like, okay, this guy is awesome. He knows exactly what he's talking about, how to clean them. It's very good. The only point that I would make in addition to his video is to not use an oil-based cleaner within your barrel. You guys who shoot air rifles probably already know that, but it will diesel, which means it will explode the, uh, the oil inside the barrel because of the pressures of the air and the heat that it creates. So don't do that. Use a non-oil-based cleaner. There are air rifle cleaning um, solutions out there. You can get them from Air Guns of Arizona. You can get them pretty much anywhere. So use one of those instead. Put a little bit, tiny bit of that on your little pellet um, cleaner or in the pad that you're using if you're going to use a rod or a pull through. In fact, I would highly recommend using a pull through like a whip style cleaning uh, instead of a rod, just because those are a little easier on the barrels if the barrels are soft. In any case, there you have it, guys. I hope that helps. Stay safe out there. Love you.